542 is the time now. Today, a small fleet of self-driving vehicles will be hitting the streets of Detroit. Yeah, of course, it's not the first time the technology has been tested on public roads, but it is the first time self-driving vehicles will actually carry passengers. Mm -hmm. Seven Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is joining us live with more on this ambitious testing. They're going to put people in these cars. <sighs> Yeah, they actually are. And you guys remember when you were kids on a bicycle riding past your house and you'd say, look, Ma, no hands. Well, today, employees from Bedrock are going to be saying the very same thing, only they're going to be in a motorized vehicle on a major street. And the company making it all possible, well, they say this is just the beginning. We're, we're trying to be the first ones to be to market with a autonomous self-driving vehicle that will not have a safety driver. You heard right. No driver, no steering wheel, no dashboard. But Edwin Olson, CEO of May Mobility, is expecting plenty of double takes. We're going to be operating a two autonomous vehicles around Bricktown to Greektown. These six-seater autonomous shuttles will hit the road at a maximum of 25 miles an hour between 7 and 10 p.m. Monday through Friday this week. It's a pilot program partnering with Bedrock employees as the passengers. We're learning about the environments where customers want to operate these vehicles, and that will tell us what, what tricks the vehicle needs to learn next. Minnesota company Polaris built the vehicles, then startup May Mobility made some technological adjustments, installing software sensors, essentially teaching the shuttle to be its own driver. And if this driverless vehicle thing seems to be going too fast for you. So it's not going to be you wake up one morning and all of a sudden you can go and buy an autonomous car that will drive you everywhere and take your kids to school. Olson promises the technology will be taking baby steps. So, for example, parking to office building shuttles or central business districts or enterprise campuses or residential communities. This is the pilots are really about learning how the customers are going to react and making sure that we're making them really happy. Well, not having a driver is the ultimate goal. They want to make sure everyone feels safe, not only in those vehicles, but on the road and next to those vehicles. So for this week's test, this week, there will be an engineer and there'll be a little keypad about as big as a GPS with a bunch of numbers on it. And that'll be the engineer's way of taking over control if anything were to happen. Reporting in Detroit, Jennifer Ann Wilson, back to you. Thank you, Jennifer Ann. This is a new day. Yeah, Jen, are you going to uh, go for a ride in, in one of those <laughs> it's shuttles? A new day. <laughs> oh, I would love to actually, especially just because it's a very short drive, just a couple of blocks, and it'll be moving slowly. So I think it would be a fun experiment. But as of now, this is not open to the public. It's only for Bedrock employees who need a ride from the office to their car in a parking garage. But one day, I think, and probably one day pretty soon, it's going to expand where any of us could take a ride.